the influencer side, do you, in, in the B2B space, do you encourage your clients to engage with those? Do you do ambassadors? I'd be interested in that because influencers are a hot topic. Um, yeah, we, I, th I think we've, we've had conversations with our clients about influencers and a lot of, I mean, um, a lot of our bigger technology clients have, you know, whether they're called advocacy, a lot of them are called like advocacy programs where they're, uh, they've got whole teams that work with, I, I would call it Mike, you know, the, the more the micro influencers, but I think the, the, I think we, it might've been when we were talking pre-show, but the B2B influencer, I think is a really interesting concept. Um, and I think it's, I, I don't think it's necessarily new, um, but I think a lot of the, in the B2B space, right, there's not a whole lot of, um, unless you're just talking about SaaS platforms that cost seven, ten dollars a month, there's not a whole lot of like discount codes or referral. Like there's not a whole, there's the, the ecosystem for those referral um, concepts don't exist because you're selling a hundred million dollar data center, right? That like, yes, I'll take 25% of that. Thank you. Um, but so I think it's interesting to see how companies are thinking about approaching it and whether that's, um, I know uh, years ago before they split HP had an advocacy team and program and software around how they manage their advocates and what templates and tools and tricks they gave them to reach out to their sort of groups of, uh, or spheres of influence. Mm. And, and I think it will be interesting to see how companies work with them because it's, it's especially tech companies that span the b2c and b2b markets because i think those groups the b2c influ influencers like i think about nvidia who they sell game you know like they their gaming sector is huge uh from a b2c perspective but then they sell you know very very expensive um technology to to b2b companies and those influencers aren't going to be the same no no they won't be and, and the challenge with an ambassador type of program is it's um, how do you scale that in terms of how do you actually engage? Do you have to create tech for it? Um, so, um, yeah, that's interesting.